Oh, hello there. Makesterpiece Theater is made possible by the Plastic Foundation and viewers like you. As is habit and custom, this is the morning roundup. So the coffee lid is coming out just fine. We're at 97%. And it's looking about as perfect as you could want. Thankfully, the coffee cup itself turned out good. And we're just cranking out the Sharkos, baby. Nothing but Sharkos for days. I kind of forgot with the small printers um, to show you guys, but we got new stuff printing. This wolf head is um, taking a little bit. It's one of the more, it's pretty intricate and stuff, but it's coming out good. Got supports on the ears. It's nice when those come out right. Packaging a few things. We got this David. About to wrap him up. Time to paint some eyes on these guys. If you've been exposed to 3D printers, you may be entitled to overcompensation. All right, let's drop these guys off. We out here. Fine day. Said I wasn't gonna caffeinate again, but then cough goes my fey fey. Look, don't expect pop culture references that are newer than like five or ten years on this channel, all right? You get coffee. Time after time. Coffee time. Came to get coffee. Get coffee every day. We're actually gonna go to the Mexican supermarkets and get some really good stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but every time I rewatch those 80s teen movies, like, like uh, the, what's that one with Kevin Bacon? Not Flashdance, I don't know. Basically all of the, that's gonna really bother me. Oh yeah, Footloose. Anyway, when you watch all the villains in those movies, like Ferris Bueller, all the other ones, it's like they were kind of right about everything. If you actually look at what all the bad guys in those teen movies were saying, they're always principals or like pastors or somebody, but almost everything they're actually saying is true. Even like Rooney from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like there's a, he should have broke into somebody's home but like he was pretty much right about everything. Las Potosinas. This is about to be so good. Here at Brookshire Brothers, got some eggs and stuff. We're gonna try out some new things. Been losing a lot of weight, hit another all time low this morning. You know you're really a boomer if like they read you the price and then you're like, deal. I think I'm about to try another uh, recipe kind of inspired by the uh, bell pepper egg cups. I'm going to get a bunch, well, I just got a bunch of squash and you kind of hollow it out a little bit and you can put stuff in it. And I think I'm gonna put this uh, pre-marinated al pastor meat that I just got from the Mexican market and air fry it in there. Maybe like put some avocado or some other stuff in there. Sounds like a real good thing. Do you guys use the word ornery? I was just thinking about my grandpa because he's really, really ornery. O-R-N-E-R-Y. Starting to look like rain. Hopefully the power don't go out. Thought I'd show you what I'm doing right now. Check this out. It is a chihuahua wearing a sock hat. I bent his ears back so that headphones could go on there. I'm thinking he'll be a headphone stand, but maybe I could use him for other stuff. It's Monday, so we're gonna review the board like we always do. How many new in products did we introduce this week? As you can see, we got five. So we're gonna reset this. Five is not bad. Four is kind of the absolute minimum. Really, I'm trying to do one every day, but uh, sometimes you only make so many. Five is a pretty good score on that. Just cleaned up this big sharky boy. You know you're seeing a lot of these guys. Actually, there's a couple little nubs to do in here. It's kind of hard to see. We're gonna get the coffee painted probably today. 
I'm not sure if I can do both colors. But uh, I got a couple more things to do and then the night's gonna be done. I think I just put my finger on something. I'm always mixing up Cherry Pie by Warrant with Sign, Sign Everywhere, Sign by Five Man Electrical Band. I'm always wanting to go like, she's my cherry pie. Something, 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 10 miles wild. Do this, don't do that, can't you read the sign? We're almost done for today. Uh, just to update you on the pricing thing, that uh, we did three episodes ago. It has continued to about double the sales. Um, yeah, when I think about, I mean, it, it may be slightly, maybe it's like two and a half times the sales. I wouldn't say it's quite tripled, but like, dang, does that work. This morning sales were kind of normal. And I was thinking, okay, maybe it was a bit of a fluke, like the weekend was big or something, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I just sold a bunch this evening. Sometimes you'll have a slow morning, but then the evening's extra big. And sometimes you have a big morning and you think it's going to be a huge day, but then the evening doesn't sell that much. Sometimes you get both. Sometimes you get neither. But so far, the three days I've done this pricing thing, like, man, it's been big. This is like a game changer. Write down in the comments what you want me to write on my LED sign on the outside of the shop here. Right now, it's just an eyeball.